Hello everyone, and welcome to our final uh, textile project, weaving a branch tapestry. What will we be making for this project? Well, here are several examples of branch tapestries. Uh, today, in this lesson, we're going to go over a variety of different weaving techniques, um, as well as the basics of color theory and how to create textiles. The, the uh, objective of this is, assignment is to explore the art of textiles by creating a branch tapestry. And this, you will have the following assignments for this specific project. The branch weaving practice, the cardboard weaving practice, the brainstorming sketch, and the final tapestry itself. Note here I've included an example of the cardboard weaving practice. So let's talk about the basics. What is weaving? Well, weaving is the process of creating fabric by interlacing threads in an under and over pattern. This can often be very meditative as you repeat this process over and over to create a beautiful textile design. These fabric, uh, these threads are woven together on a loom. You can use anything for creating a loom. Um, for example, here we see a traditional vertical loom. But for this assignment, we would be using a branch as our loom, basically the structure of our design. The design can be broken up into warp and weft. The warp threads hold everything together. They become the base and are often a sort of neutral color, such as black or white. The weft are the horizontal threads, which are woven in that under over pattern. The weft is what brings the color to the tapestry. We chose our weft colors all the way back in December. Now, because we're introducing a new project, oftentimes the best way to learn is to do. So I highly encourage you to start this assignment by watching demonstration 10-1 and recreating the paper weave. This will help you practice that under over pattern that will be essential for creating your tapestry. If you'd like to break the video down into steps, as you see here, I have listed them on the side. Pause this video to look to, uh, to follow along with these steps, or simply watch the video. It's up to you. Once you've completed your paper weaving assignment, please photograph your work and submit it to your Google submission slide on the branch weaving progress slide. All right, if you have any questions, let me know, and I look forward to seeing your paper weaving practice.